Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just checking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new company I'm released. Dinka Savoy. This uh, came to us with the Casino Heist DLC and as you can see we've got a motherfucking Honda Civic Type R in the game. This is the second Honda Civic to be added with uh, this DLC. Obviously the last one was the Kanjo. That's more of an old school Honda Civic where this is more of an up to date Civic. This is like the 2018 Honda Civic Type R and it is just beautiful. It looks so nice man. This Segoy is going to be in the sports category and it is going to cost $1.2 million. Every single car, except for the compacts cars in this DLC, have been over $1 million. Uh, it's just going to be a very expensive DLC if you want to get all the vehicles. And hopefully we can get some nice customizations. So, without any further ado, let's get on with it and see what sort of customizations we do get. So we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes. Then we've got the bumper front diffuser not an actual bumper change and it's just going to add crazy splitters and canards <laughs> of course it is that's a shame that is a shame that it that we don't get an option to change the bumper um you know but it is what it is that arc diffuser actually looks quite nice i actually really like that I'm not sure about the carbon version of it but that looks pretty cool man, the GT Diffuse also looks pretty good so there are some nice options, I'm not sure about them canards I think they're a little bit too crazy you know, definitely not my cup of tea but there's some nice split options and I think my favourite was this one just Arc Diffuser, uh, the Carbon Arc Diffuser actually looks pretty good uh, but I'm edging more towards this one because obviously it's just that black plastic look and then it goes with all the inserts and the grill surround and all that sort of stuff and I think it just ties in a little bit nicer so I'm going to go with the arc diffuser then we're going to go to the rear diffuser again not a bumper option this is just a diffuser which is the race diffuser then we've got the performance diffuser the sweep that looks pretty sweet man I like that the GT one looks good too speed diffuser then we've got the turbo carbon downforce and that's it see these are some real nice options um, for the back again I'm not a hundred percent on the canards I think they look too strange man too strange but this speed diffuser looked good and the GT one looked pretty sweet as well but I think oh, I was going to say the sweep one was my favourite but then I've just noticed it's got two fucking fins on the side God damn it. Um, yeah, well in, in that case, I'm going to go with the GT Diffuser. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then the exhausts. So we've got rounded exhausts, which are like 100% smaller than the original ones, which is weird. Uh, the ovals, which is pretty much the same. Uh, the round cluster. The sport. The split the squared cluster that looks pretty cool and the angled and that's it so there's some pretty good options I think the squared uh, the squared cluster was probably my favorite but other than that I think just the stock ones probably look the best so I'm gonna stay stock for the exhaust then we're gonna go to the grill so we've got the top trim nice so we can change that up to so it matches the trim I've got on the front and rear diffuser that's pretty sweet man I like that then we've got the rally grill then the rally with the top track grill track with the top so that's cool man then we've got the GT grill and then the GT with top grill so I'm definitely gonna go for one with the top trim um, because I think it just looks awesome but I'm not sure which one I like the best I think this one just top trim it keeps it a little bit more simplistic and uh, yeah I just think it looks awesome then we're gonna go to the hood we've got the carbon all the carbon stock hood so it's the same because that's a nice stock hood man primary hood the carbon hood the vented that looks nice I like the hood pins on that then we've got the carbon version of that and then we've got the same but instead of pins we've got latches the street vented the rally hood the sports hood I like the look of that man, it looks awesome. The dual vented, the performance, the performance carbon, and then back to the stock one. So there's some nice options man, I think that performance 
hood actually looks really good really really nice uh, but I did like the sports hood maybe that's a little bit too busy and we'll just go with the performance hood then we're gonna go to the lights headlights and we're gonna get the Xeon headlights so now we've got the liveries loads of options for liveries we've got the red stripes the checker oh that looks quite nice that looks quite nice too the red stripes where it's just off center I actually really dig that uh, then the checkered ones are good too the Segoy stripes like that man, man that actually looks really nice then we've got the wave that's pretty cool too see the, the first few were actually really nice but now we're going into I don't know like tour and championship territory and it's not really my sort of thing these heavy liveries with um, a lot of sponsorship and track number you know it's not my sort of thing I think it looks a little bit weird and obviously we get an anime um, an anime livery as well as it being a Jap car the red warrior man that actually looks real cool I don't know whether I should get it or not I don't think I will to be honest because then that means I'm going to have to change the grill because I don't think the grill goes with the flow of the livery looks a little bit out of place so I'm just gonna stay none for the livery then we've got the mirrors so we've got the secondary frame the carbon the primary carbon and then the secondary carbon I'm gonna go with a secondary frame so then we move on to the respray we've got primary color classic I actually really like it in silver so that's what I thought I'm gonna do but it's gonna be more of I mean, what was it at the moment? It's, yeah, it's like a shadow metallic silver at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go metallic again. But this time I'm just going to get the... Ooh. I'm going to get dark steel, actually. Or should we just get silver? Yeah, I'm going to go with the metallic silver for the primary color and for the secondary color. Also going to go into metallic gold, actually. looks really good. Gold and silver. Yeah, I think that actually looks really cool, man. Lime green actually looks really smart too. And ultra blue. Man, there's some really nice options and combinations you could put together with this. I think my favourite was... That looks pretty cool too, the harbour blue with it. Uh, yeah, I think my favourite was the lime green. But saying that red also looks really good as well. Yeah, I'm actually really digging that. Do yellow also looks awesome, man. <laughs> There's so many different colours that you could choose and all of them look so good. Um, but because I'm here, do yellow, I ain't going to flick from any more. been at it for about 10 minutes. So do yellow for the secondary uh, metallic colour. Then we've got the trim on the inside. At the minute it is black. And we've got graphite. And yeah, we're going to stay graphite for the trim. So next we're going to move on to the roof. First we've got the rally scoop. Then we've got the track scoop track scoop actually looks okay it's not too obnoxious and then we've got the air scoop again also looks pretty good then we've got the squared scoop that looks I don't know man I, I was gonna say it looks a little bit too crazy but I like the fact that it's got that um, you know the secondary color as an outer, outer lining it looks uh, pretty sweet and then you get the same with the GT scoop and also the sports scoop you know what? I think I might go with the GT scoop, you know. Not sure about all these antennas on the back though. That's a little bit weird. A bit unfortunate that it's chucked all that, that crap up there as well. It would have been nice if it was just the scoop. But it's not. Um, so, I might go for this air scoop. Yeah. yeah. Shall we? Yeah. We're going to go with the air scoop. Then we move on to the skirts. Uh, the standard skirt is actually quite nice. I don't know if I'm going to change it. Um, but then saying that, the street one actually looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. And nah. Then we've got the racer, the carbon version of that. The jet skirt. Um, this one's actually quite cool. The rally skirt. I like that. Yeah. I think the rally is probably my favourite. Or is it? I don't know man. I think the jet skirt is also quite nice. There's some really good options. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with a jet skirt. Then we've got the spoiler. We've got the fin. 
Okay, that is a pretty shotgun spoiler. Then we've got the raised tail. Again, pretty shotgun. Uh, then they're getting a little bit bigger. The primary street spoiler. That looks quite nice. It suits it quite nicely. Then the secondary version, the carbon version of that. And the arrow spoiler. Then the carbon, the GT. Oh, shit, that looks awful. Don't even look like it's supposed to be there. That's just as bad. Yep, yep, shit, 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 shit. Wow, there's some terrible options at the at the end there. I think my favourite was probably this just this arrow spoiler. Then we move on to the suspension. We're gonna go with the race suspension, and it's nice to see that there's no camber. Thank fuck for that. Transmission, we're gonna get a race transmission, turbo tuning. For the wheels, wheel type. These standard wheels are actually really nice. I don't think I'm going to change them, but I'm going to have a little look anyway. So after having a little look, I have decided that I'm going to keep the stock wheels. Main reason is because when you choose an aftermarket wheel, it um, gets smaller. Like that. How strange. Very weird. And that really irritates me that it does that. So I'm just going to stay stock for the wheels then we've got the windows we're gonna get the light smoke to finish the build off and as you pull out of ls customs this segoy just looks awesome man it looks so good 100 percent supposed to be a tight bar no doubt about that i think it's front wheel drive yeah front wheel drive it just looks awesome it just looks so good and it's so close to a honda civic it is unbelievable the customization on it isn't you know spectacular you, it's not like you get a ton of options, but what you do get is pretty cool. And um, yeah, man, I love the way it looks from stock. I love the way it looks now after being modified. So let's take it on a little spin. And again, I've noticed that this has got like that um, blow off flutter, like the Asbo and the other Honda Civic, the Kanjo, should I say? Um, acceleration seems a little bit slow, to be honest. It is in a sports category, so you'd expect it to be. Maybe a little bit quicker, and it being a tight bar, obviously, you'd like it to be a little bit quicker. Uh, so acceleration does feel a little bit sluggish, but it does pick up speed quite nicely. But it feels quite heavy on the turns, and if you hold it in there too long, it does want to kick out. Yeah, it's really weird to handle, and I'm not a fan, to be honest. Which is a shame, because I really love the way it looks. I love the customizations, I love everything else about it, it's just the handling. And the acceleration. The acceleration is pretty poor as well, but it feels like the speed picks up, so I don't think the speed's going to be an issue. It's that handling which is a little bit irritating. It's nothing terrible, but it's definitely um, it's definitely there, and you'll notice that, especially when it comes to going around corners. Like it just feels really heavy, and it doesn't really want to tuck into the corners like it should do. Which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is, I suppose. It's definitely a car that I'll be purchasing in online though when it's released, 100%. Because I really like it, man. I like what it's supposed to be. I love the customizations. I love the way it looks. And yeah, man. I, I, I for one, when I buy this, I won't be buying it for its performance. That's for sure. It will just purely be for the way it looks and for what it is. It's, it's a Honda Civic Type R, man. So you, you have to buy it. It is $1.2 million on release, but I don't care. I'm going to get it anyway. It looks awesome. The customizations are pretty cool. The top speed feels okay. The acceleration is sluggish, and the handling is pretty poor. But all that being said, I love it, and I'll definitely be buying it. So on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending the video right there. If you did enjoy this, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.